Hi foodies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a recipe with leftover stuff. So I have some leftover roast beef, some leftover baked beans, garlic, a shallot I had, I had two carrots left, I had some green and red peppers left, Mushrooms, and some tomatoes that I've just cut up. With that, I'm going to be using some chili flakes, some cumin, some paprika, some rainbow pepper. some tomato puree and using my chili infusion olive oil so I'm going to be trying it'll be kind of like a chili so yep let's get this started now as you can see I've already got my chili on the lane so now I'm the first thing I'm going to do is add my spices I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to add my onions. And I'm going to cook these until they're soft. So when they're soft, I'll bring you back. Now the next thing I'm doing is adding my garlic. The carrots. You can use any leftovers, use your imagination, you can make anything, if you've got a few bits and pieces in, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, at the end of the day, it's food in your stomach. Now that's them coated, I know they're not cooked, but they will be during the process. There's my peppers in. I'm just coating everything really. Then I'm going to put the baked beans in. I'm doing it this way because I didn't want to waste any food, so sometimes my experiments are tasty and sometimes they're not, but you still get eaten. I want to put my beef in there too. I 
my mushrooms. Let these cook a little, a little bit. Before I add the tomatoes and then the tomato paste and then obviously some water. If you need liquid. Now obviously I'm doing a big pan so I won't be eating it all today. But what I don't have I will let it cool down and freeze. And then that'll do maybe another one or two meals. Now I'm going to add my tomato. I'm going to add some tomato paste and then I'm going to add the water and then I'm going to let that cook. So. Now I have my tomato puree and I'm going to add my liquid. Some up until everything is cooked, and then I'll bring you back. As you can see, it's doing really nicely. I'm just doing this until it reduces down the um, liquid because I want I don't want it too thin. I don't want it too thick either. And yes, I always leave my wooden spoon and it stops things boiling over, even though it won't boil over because obviously you get what I mean. Now I had a small bit of rice left over. So I added it to this. So I'm letting the rice cook in that and it'll soak up some of those juices as well. As rice soaks up water, it soaks up juices too. So I'm going to give that another 10 minutes. The next time you'll see it will be in my um, dish. Now as you can see, there's the meal ready and cooked. And I have a lunch box there full. And that will go away when it cools down. And for another time. Or I should say for another meal. So, I'll give you a closer look. So, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Oh, that is really nice. The vegetables are not mushy. They're perfect. They're not hard. 
Mm, that is really, really tasty. And there's some heat there, which I like, especially on a really freezing cold day like today. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy that for my dinner. So if you like the content, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing. Click the notification bell for new uploads. And leave a comment in the comment box or even a recipe. Thanks for watching, foodies. Bye-bye.